Good morning, everybody. This is Scott with uh, Pets Plus. Today is Friday. I think it's uh, December 4th, 2009, and we're in a house in Short Hills. Sometimes people say, well, well they have bed bugs, the people must be dirty, they must be living dirty. Well, I assure you, we're just walking into this house now, and I want to show you that this house is far from dirty. So if we take a walk, follow me. If we take a walk here and you get you look at the magnitude of this house, Okay, this is a very beautiful house. This is not a low-end house. This is not low-end people. This is a very high-end house. And based upon the area it's in, it's actually, if you can see the walls and everything, you can see, even if you look down there, look towards the living room, the back where it faces. Okay, this is a high-end house. When we came here and inspected, we actually found live bed bugs in virtually every bedroom. There are five bedrooms, and we found it in four of them. And these people keep very neat. They have housekeepers, as you can see. The house has been prepared for us. So sometimes people have this idea that you need to be dirty to have bed bugs. And again, this is not the case. So we're going to address this issue. And what I want to show you is a couple of things. They do have their own covers that they purchased. Honestly, I think these are bed, bed Bath & Beyond covers. They're not the right fit. There's a lot of my guy man and just found some white bed bugs. So we're going to show you. Okay. It's going to take a walk with us. Okay, where did you see them? So look at this. We have live bed bugs that are crawling. Let's see if we can get them all. Okay, and what you're also looking at, you're looking at the staining. So these covers are getting taken off. Now, we use protective bed covers. And uh, I don't care if people went to the store and they believe they're doing the right thing. They're not getting the right covers. Actually, the covers we found downstairs, uh, the ones that we just took off were ripped. They're not on there properly. And also the zipper. The problem I personally have, we're using, here's another live bed bug right there. And look, this is all, come here, come over here, I want to show you. Look at all these live bed bugs coming in and out of the zipper. You see that? See that? Get it close. Okay, now the problem is, you see that opening right there with the zipper? That's the main problem. The problem is, is you have to understand and you have to know how to do and what you're doing. So the covers we use to protect the beds, they don't have a zipper like this. They have a lock. It's called a bed bug lock. This right now is doing absolutely nothing, this cover, because you can't, you can't expect individuals to know what they're doing when it comes to bed bugs. You have to be a trained individual. Also, this is a very big house. There's three of us that are going to be working in this house. You can't, you can't have one guy come to your house and expect to turn over the furniture, flip the furniture. If you saw some of the furniture, we're going to be going through every piece of furniture. We're going to be on this property, three of us, probably about four hours. It's about 12 man hours worth of hours. Plus, we're going to be implementing a minimum of four follow-ups. Why is that important? Well, some companies are selling one job and then one follow-up, or they're charging per additional follow-up. I think, honestly, it's nonsense. First of all, if you're good at what you do, you should have the confidence. Your program should encompass everything. Our program encompasses the initial treatment and all the follow-ups. There's no additional pricing. There's no hidden fees. And we don't expect the homeowner to find bed bugs before they contact us. We're going to be contacting the homeowner. The homeowner is going to be on the program. And this is Manny. Manny is, say hello. Hello. Manny is the main, you know, technician. He is the main guy. He does all the bed bug follow-ups. Sometimes he does the treatments without me. Most of the time I'm with him initially because I want to see the extent of what's going on. So we're going to get a bag. Manny, you have a bag for this? We're going to put this in a garbage bag. And uh, we got a main concern. Wait, before you take this off, we're going to get this vacuum. So I'm going to let you go for now so we can get to work. We have a very busy day. But our program, Pest Plus, encompasses vacuuming, steam heat. It also encompasses chemicals. Now, people say, is chemicals safe to be around my family? Well, these people, most people will be out for six hours. By the time they come down, the windows will be open. They will not smell anything. And then we're going to do a series of follow-up. By the time we're done, they're going to have 100% success on their bed bug program. There are not going to be no more bed bug programs here. We're going to offer them some uh, additional opportunities, but that'll be discussed in March. So until 
Next time, before you make a decision about hiring a company, make sure you hire the right company. Not all companies do it the same. Don't let them smoke, blow smoke up your behind. All right. Find out exactly what you need to know. Who's going to be on the property, how much experience they have, how many guys are going to be working on your property, and if you have any problems, what is their follow-up procedure? If they leave it up to you, if they say, you know what, it's $150 every time we come back, it's nonsense. You want to walk away from that company. Remember, the company you hire is only as good as the technician that they're going to send. Until next time, hopefully this has been great information for you. You can use it in the future. And if you're in the New Jersey, New York area, give me a Manny a call. We'll be happy to help you out. Pest Plus, www.pestplus.net or 732-777-6857. Until next time, I'm Scott and you're not.